I wasn't even going to do biology as an A-level, but I chose to do it because I thought, I kind of like Miss Nicholas at GCC, God, she'll be teaching me again, let's do that. And then at A-level, I just fell in love with the subject. And obviously that has seriously affected my life because I'm now studying at Oxford. <laughs> um, I said, I've heard something about you. And he said, oh yeah, I go to Oxford. And I was just like, it's nothing. No, Jamie, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. In biology, I had to do very little revision because I can remember most of it. Because the lessons were, were because they were well structured and they were entertaining, I remembered most of the stuff from, the, from actually being in class as opposed to having to read through a buttload of notes. And I read what Jamie had written uh, and it was just full of really lovely things about her and about how she had inspired him. There was some reference to 80s music, which I was a bit, I'm not quite sure about what was going on there, but I love 90s music. I don't understand. They call it dodgy. She'd slap on Rick Astley on YouTube when lessons were getting quite boring. I thought that they wouldn't be interested, but you'd see them sing along as they get their books out, as they settle down to a lesson, and it was just fantastic. Sometimes if you caught her on a bad day, she'd be, she wouldn't talk to anyone. They say but I have a very expressive face. She'd be in a bad mood, she'd just sit there and mark. I frowned. She wouldn't want anything to do with you. But this is the place I come to when I'm not in a good mood, because invariably somebody's going to say something completely stupid that would have me, I, I dissolve in laughter easily. I forget that I'm angry. Uh, she, t she told me I, w I was stupid for nominating her. She didn't feel like she deserved it, but she definitely does. Yeah, it makes you feel really, really good and really special too. So yeah, I hope it never ever happens again though. <laughs>